get these so fouled up. Great things don't come easy, Jeff. Good morning. Good morning, Rob. Well, look who's so bubbly this morning. Oh, yes, it's my flawless bedside manner. I thought you were supposed to be in the lobby today. Oh, well, I came up to help Bobby straighten out this uh, tangle of files before oh. lunch. <laughs> well, um... Uh, huh? Notice anything? You get a haircut? No, no, the leg, the leg. But you're not limping, that's great. Right, right, all healed, ready to go. Shall we do a little uh, running tomorrow morning? Hmm? Oh, I love it. But, you know, I need a new cassette because I am getting very bored with Beethoven. Well, yes, uh, let's see, maybe a change of pace. Um, I prescribe a little rock and roll. I don't believe it. Since when are you into rock and roll? Bobby, didn't you know my horizons are limitless? So is your ego. <laughs> Meet me for lunch later. I'll give you the surprise of your life. Oh, well, maybe I'm busy. Uh, maybe you're not. She'll be there. What time? Uh, tell her one-ish, will you? I'll give her that message. I think she got it all right. Thanks, Jesse. Sure. Jesse, hmm. have you ever noticed how the harder some people work, the more energy they seem to find? Personally, I never have, no. For Dr. Oh, Gonzalez, you. anything urgent? Uh, well, no leaks in the storage room, if that's what you mean. Oh, yes, we must all say our prayers. Oh, hail girls, here comes the chief of staff. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you for your most warm welcome. But after yesterday, my days here may be very numbered. Why? I thought you handled everything absolutely beautifully. Oh, that is very nice bipartisan support. <laughs> However, I really owe it to my super staff. Really well, good. then let's hear it for a super staff. Yay! <laughs> what has gotten into her? The harder she works, the more energy she has. Oh. Yes. Mm. Free for lunch. Uh... No, actually, I have a date for lunch. Oh, is this some new flame that I don't know about? No, no, it's uh, Edward Quartermain and our daughter. Laura? No, Dolores, the one I never told you about. Of course it's Laura. What's it all about? Edward said something about a friendly lunch in the circumstances. What do you mean, in circumstances? I don't circumstances? know. I have no idea. I think lunch is to tell me what Dr. they are. Dr. Rick Weber to CICU stat. Dr. Uh, fill me in later. You'll Weber get the gory details. CICU stat. What are you staring about? What, what, what is this? A person cannot take a momentary pause? A little respite from the day's labors? A little moment of peace and quiet in the midst of what? You resigned? Yes, this morning. Uh, now, ladies, this is supposed to be a friendly lunch. Right. Okay. Uh, might one ask why? Well, it was a conflict of personalities, Mother. Now, this lunch is to thank Laura for all the fine work that she's done for ELQ. Now, especially the extras, like, uh, well, errands, shopping, putting up with undesirable uh -huh. types. <laughs> she has been a model employee. Thank you very much, Mr. Quartermain, and I appreciate all that you've done for me. Well, I must say, it all sounds terribly friendly, which does make one wonder why you would want to leave or why you would let her. Well, I tried to talk her out of it, Leslie, but you know, she's very insistent. I don't understand any of this. Why don't we discuss it later in private? That is a good idea. Now, there's enough talk on this depressing subject. After all, it isn't often that I have a chance to have lunch with two such beautiful ladies, and I want this to be a very special occasion. All right, now, how about a nice bottle of uh, Chablis, for starters? Hmm? It's fine with me. I don't have to go back to work. Yes, well, I won't have any. I do. <laughs> Excuse me, there's a telephone book call for you, Mr. Porterman. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you. Excuse me a moment, ladies. Of course. Okay, something's going on here. What? I told you. Well, pardon me, madam, if I don't really buy it. You who have worked as hard as you have to get your life in some kind of order, you who have grown up so much, don't get along with somebody and quit your job, that doesn't even make sense. Mother, I have other things to do right now. What things? What more important things? Look, you wouldn't understand. Try me. I'm sorry, but I can't explain it right now. Laura Weber Baldwin, I thought we were never going to have secrets from each other again. Look, Mother, I didn't want to have this lunch. 
Edward did, and I'm sorry that I put you in an awkward position. I don't care about the position. I care about you. Well, I can take care of myself. Sometimes, my dear, I begin to wonder. Mother, I'm no, sorry. No, no, well, I, I, okay, fine, fine. What does Luke think about you quitting? Luke has nothing to do with this. Uh-huh. I don't know that I really believe that either. He doesn't even know. He doesn't? No. He really doesn't? Look, no. this conversation is absolutely pointless, all right? And I have a lot of things to do, so if you'll excuse me. Laura, Laura, Laura. Where's Laura off to? The ladies' room? She left. Why? I was foolish enough to bring up Luke and, um, nothing, nothing. Um, I wish I could have some of that wine right now. What are you doing here? I thought you were having lunch, lunch with Laura. Lunch not quite what I expected. Leslie, what happened? Laura quit her job. I don't believe it. I didn't either, but it's true. I bet this is uh, independence, a young woman standing on her own. I know, I know. It all sounds weird. Why did she give you a reason? Uh, personality conflicts at work. I don't think I can buy that. She's always had problems as far as the quarter mains are concerned. Mm -hmm. It's never stopped her from doing anything before. Oh. Nope. She never said anything. She's never complained, really. Commented, yes, but she always handled it beautifully. It's all very bizarre. It really is. I mean, I just... Uh, she's finally standing on her own two feet. Well, why would she want to quit her job? You think any answers at all? One single reason for doing it? Well, I'm really afraid I didn't handle it very well. What'd you do? Uh, Edward had to get up from the table to go and take a phone call, so I, I went bananas. I just... questions started pouring out of me. Well, I would have probably done the same thing, Leslie, if I'd been there. Yes, except that I asked the question that is, um, you know, the cardinal sin. I asked if Luke possibly had anything to do with it. Well, she adamantly refused to talk about Luke. She got up from the table and she stormed out of the restaurant, leaving me to explain to Edward, thank you very much. Well, I'm quite sure it has something to do with Luke. It always seems to have something to do with Luke when she gets involved in something like this. Yes, yes, and this time he's involved in something weird. I just know he is, Rick. Yeah, very possibly he has dragged her into it, whatever like it is. Like last summer. Last summer. Which is happening all over again. I'm going to find Mr. Luke Spencer, and he's got some explaining to do. Yes. 